I like to use DMC thread the best. There are other brands, but I find that DMC just has a wide range of colors and they carry them in a lot of different stores. So it's pretty easy to find and it's easy to replace if you run out of a color and you'll know that you're getting the exact same color again. So to use the thread, you'll see that at the bottom here, you'll always have one side that sticks out a little longer here. So that's going to be the edge that we're going to pull. And this is a bobbin. I use these for organization. So what you're going to want to do to wind your thread on your bobbin is just pinch it right in here and then gently hold here and you can just start unwinding. You will sometimes get a snag with this method and you'll have to take it all apart and undo a knot, but for the most part, it's just easy. And there, see, this is one. We got lucky today, we're getting a knot. So my best advice with knots is just be really gentle with them. Like I think that one is now gone and we don't actually have to unfold the whole thing. As you can see, my luck did not last with this one. So what I'm going to do is just take it out like this and gently try to pull everything free. And then you just want to make sure that this is all straight before you go back and unwind it. Or sorry, wind it. <laughs> There you go. So that's how to wind a bobbin. And then to get your thread ready to use, you can see here that each thread comes with six strands here. So if you ever hear people referring to two or three or four strands in their embroidery work, this is what they mean. So we're going to separate these bits of thread here. So to do that, I like to work with basically a double arm's length. So I will pull the thread away from my body because you don't want, if you have too much, it's really easy to get tangled. And if you don't have enough, then you'll just be coming back for more thread constantly, which is also really annoying. So once you've got your bit of working thread here, make sure it's all laid out flat. And what you can do is separate the ends a little bit and just grab one of them and just gently pinch the other ones and slowly pull the one that you've separated. And then this one will just kind of bunch out again like that. So now I've got a single strand and five strands here. So in a lot of my work, I like to use a single strand, but in a lot of it, I also like to use up to three strands. Um, and then for uh, woven wheel roses, which you will do in the last video, I sometimes use up to 12 strands. So I will be more specific about that in the other videos as I'm teaching you the stitches, but that is how to separate your thread. And then if you're just going to be using the one, <coughs> So that we don't end up with a giant tangled ball of different colored threads. I like to wrap mine around this way and then I know that at least one strand has been taken out of that. Some knots are not worth it especially when it's such a tiny bit of string.